I came to Santa Barbara City College in 1969 and I was hired as uh, head football coach and instructor in physical education. And, you know, before I got here, they were one and nine. And, uh, and we got uh, lucky in, in, in my first year. And um, we tied for the championship. Uh, it, was, it was an amazing uh, situation. Uh, we had uh, good publicity in the last play of the, the final uh, regular season game uh, against Ventura. Uh, there was a, a pass, uh, I have a picture of it in my office, uh, from Dave Sobolewski to Jerry Hughes to, to win that game. And um, there was over 10,000 people in the La Playa Stadium that, that, that night. So that really kind of started us in our, our football program with that success. Uh, facilities were, were really poor, I mean uh, extremely poor. There was no weight training uh, uh, facility. Uh, we had to make a, uh, an agreement uh, with one of the local gyms that was located, which is now the Funk Zone, and that we'd, uh, we'd run our athletes down to the gym so, so they could uh, work out. Uh, the basketball team, I know in this, uh, in this period, uh, had to work out uh, in the uh, armory and play their games in, in, the, uh, in the Naval Armory. Uh, facilities wise it was really a problem uh, we had a, a field house that we we uh, dressed in uh, our support services were, were almost nil um, we had no trainers uh, we had one gentleman Frank Holguin who did everything I mean he wasn't trained at, uh, in any of the areas uh, he was employed as a as a maintenance man, but he was our trainer, he was our equipment manager, and he was our, our gardener. Well, one of the things that we did have early on and, and still going strong, which just saved us, was the joint use agreement with the, the city of, of Santa Barbara. Uh, and, and that is just something that was just something so easy to, to work with. Uh, the head of the recreation department at that time was Bill Burtka, who, uh, who was uh, with the Laker fame. He's been an assistant coach for the Laker for years. And he was so easy to, to work with. Anything that you, you needed, uh, I mean, just in 25 minutes, I mean, he, he, was, he was right there to, to help you. Uh, and, and, and that was really helpful. That's how we got to use, uh, really, the, the Playa Field. That's how we got to use Pershing Park. Uh, uh, later on, uh, uh, we got to use some other fields when we started soccer, uh, uh, and all because of that joint use agreement. Los Banos Pool, that, that's another, another facility area uh, that, that's really uh, improved. So facility-wise, uh, we've definitely improved. Uh, we've definitely improved in terms of student support. Uh, currently, uh, City College is, uh, has two trainers, uh, two full-time uh, uh, certified uh, trainers, athletic trainers. Uh, the academic support staff is, is, is outstanding. Uh, there are counselors assigned just to athletics who are trained in NCAA requirements. Uh, so things uh, have really picked up then. And financially, th things have, have definitely uh, uh, picked up. But when I retired, uh, I was an athletic director. I was athletic director for 22 years. Uh, and um, we had to fundraise uh, to support four sports. Uh, we had to fundraise to support men's and women's soccer. We had to, had to fundraise to support uh, uh, men's volleyball. And we had to uh, fundraise to support uh, women's golf. And, and now uh, all the sports in the program are, are basically fully funded. Well, when I was the athletic director, I think my, my number one goal was uh, to um, see what I, I can do to make the job of the coaches uh, easier and, and better. It has the opportunity to, uh, to involve members of the community that you can't get involved in, in, in any other way. And that was one of my, my early goals, and I, 
and I uh, worked hard at that. And I'm still, you know, even after I retired, I'm still trying to w work in that. And, and you can get people who uh, would have no interest at all in, in, in this community or, 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 or this college, but you can get them in, in involved uh, through, uh, uh, through the athletic program. But I noticed when I first came to the college is that we, we had a, a, a strong uh, middle class. Uh, I, I mean, uh, when I'd go to, to, to the, the high schools, I mean, there were a lot of athletes and a lot of middle, middle class uh, people. I, I think that's changed a lot, and a lot of it has to do with the, with the price of housing. As, as the prices of housing increased, uh, uh, f young families just started to move out of, of Santa Barbara. Uh, uh, I noticed now, and I noticed at the time that, that I retired, that uh, much of the workforce, the, the people that, that really work in, in this town, come from, from other areas. Uh, as you Look up north, uh, people who work in this town live in Lompoc, they, they, they live in Santa Maria, they live in, in Salvang, uh, they live in Ventura uh, from the south, uh, they, they live in, in Oxnard. I'm talking about the teachers, I'm talking about the policemen, I'm talking about the, the, the nurses, and now even, even the, the, the doctors. Well, I, I think that, that has changed, you know, that, that's, uh, uh, unhealthy. One of the things that I've done is that uh, I volunteered uh, in the elementary schools well, while they're going through elementary school. I spent a lot of time at Washington Elementary School and at Bay Valley Elementary School where our grandkids were, were, were growing up. Uh, I've tried to stay uh, stayed close to the, the community and one of the things is I've been on the board of the Athletic Roundtable and I'm currently I'm the Hall of Fame chairman of, of that uh, group uh, since 1978. I, I think there's only one other member that's been on that board uh, uh, longer. So that's been, been a way to stay close to the, the community. Uh, I'm proud to be a vaquero and uh, I, I hope to stick around in the community for a few years lo uh, longer uh, helping them out.